Got a balloon, huh? Yeah, a pair gun. That's cool. Yeah, let me get a new one. What are you gonna do with that? Blow it up and pop it. You're gonna blow it up and pop it? All right, blow it up and pop it, come on. See a pop, Dad? <laughs> yeah, I saw it. Hey, poop. That was really exciting. What a piece of it. I think I'll title this episode, Boy Blows Up a Balloon and Pops It. I really like this area out here. Uh, it's nice that it's next to the house. We can look out our kitchen window and see what these guys are up to at night. Many times I have caught a possum or a raccoon or something just walking around, peeking at them since they're not fenced in outside of this. So it gives me a good chance of checking them out. But the problem is there is a big light right up yeah. So I don't know how great a sleep they get because they got a pretty big light out here. It doesn't get real dark like a coop would. But give and take, I get to watch them. I'm sure they get enough sleep. They can sleep when they die. Am I right? Grabbing some more feed for those guys. Got a couple left here in the bins. Don't you love when you find an extra bag of feed that you didn't know about? I forgot we had run out of room for the layer pellets. So I put one down in the chick grower area. So now we still got an extra bag. Yes. Yeah. That hurt. All right, morning chores almost done. Got to switch out the light for the chicks, clean out their waters, and then refill their food, make sure nobody's deceased. Ah, that's better. Who wants a red light on there? So this one's still alive, but she's looking really not good. What? What's this? Looking very weak. I may have to separate it out and do a small chick brooder versus these big ones that are three times their size. So this chicken's looking really weak. I don't think it'll last much longer. I'm not sure if it's worth separating it out. But we like to give every chicken a chance. And I don't think he's gonna give a very good chance being in here with the really big chickens and turkeys. So we've got a couple options. One that separates into three sections, that brooder. There's a board that goes up, but that would give everybody a smaller space. It'd give them two thirds of the space where they would have one third of the space for the injured one. I'd probably just move all those, those frizzles in there. So my other option is to build another brooder over here. And we do have a big brooder set up that we use for the meat birds in early spring. I think I can just build a tub. It won't be as visibly pleasing, but it's a good quick setup to help our smaller chicks have their own area and not have to fight over food and water. All right, so we have got the frizzles. Frizzles down their own area. This guy doesn't look good at all. He's not gonna make it. Come on, buddy. So temporarily I got the frizzle separated. I don't think that one's gonna make it. It looks like it's about gone. So if it goes and the other ones are doing fine and they're doing okay in here with the other, I might just put it back. No, oh, it just jumped off the log. Maybe there's a little life in it still. Hopefully he gets warmed up here. We'll come back and check on him in a little bit. If he's doing any better, we'll just keep him over there. If he dies, we'll just put the others probably back here because they were doing okay. Never a boring day on the farm. Especially with little babies, kittens and chicks. One minute later. Came back just to move them. This chick is, it's dead. That maybe it could be revived by heat, but now it's, it's gone. Mm, poor guy. The next day, y'all.
That egg just came out of her. Still wet. Good job, girl. Let me show you, I put them in a bigger brooder. So there's our main brooder right here that's always here. It's permanent, it's big and bulky. Well, this is our temporary one that all sides come down and can lay flat. I'm having an issue because some of the smaller chicks in here were getting bullied or smashed by the bigger chickens and turkeys over here. So I wanted to separate out the bigger ones. That is a bigger heat plate that I got from Premier One. I'll put a link to it in the description. Put a couple waters and then a feeder right here that they can get under there. There's no heat lamp. So last night they were kind of freaking out, standing right there watching these guys have fun in their heat lamp. They thought they were missing out on it, but they have just as much heat and all the food and water that they had before. So let me get these guys out into the chicken tractor. Super bummed. I split out the big chicks last night. And look, another frizzle. Lost one last night, and then we just lost one since then, which I'm glad I put out the new brooder because I would have really been mad at myself if I didn't do that and this turned up dead. I would have blamed myself for not moving the bigger ones over. So even with all the smaller ones over there, still having a problem with them piling up under the heat plate, even though there's a heat lamp over here. So I just, I don't know. These, some of these chicks are just too small. They're just too small and I don't even know if they'd make it, you know, even being on their own, but that's the only way I could know for sure is if they were in their own area, so. And this is the compost pile. 